Good morning and thank you for coming to Simply Jubilee. I just wanted to give you a quick update on my middle bed here because the last time I showed you guys this bed, there wasn't much of anything growing in it. Um, on this end, it's still just marigolds and some teeny tiny little acorn squash. I have this giant catnip plant that I will be taking out sometime in the near future. I've been hesitant to just because it is such an attractor for pollinators. I've had bees all over it. And I want to encourage, obviously, as much of that as possible because then they will come to the rest of my bed and help to pollinate things. Now, as a zone 4 gardener, uh, specifically zone 4B, we have a very short growing season. Um, so I, <laughs> every day I'm out here checking to see, are things ready? Are they, are they continuing to grow? Um, the zucchini are coming along really nicely. I've got a couple different variety out here um, that are starting to get small fruit. This one will be ready to pick in about a day. Um, the thing with zucchini that you have to wait for is that they tend to produce female flowers first. And a female flower, let me see if I can find you an example, is, is like this right here. It has fruit on the end of it. Um, unfortunately, unless your plant also has male flowers, that fruit is just going to eventually fall off. A male flower is like this one right here. It has just a little stalk. So once your plant has both of those, you'll have viable fruit grow until then. You'll have a lot of little fruit develop and then it will fall off and that's all that's happened so far so i'm very happy to see i finally have male flowers um next to them these have been kind of disappointing so far these are a they're a winged bean that i was trying to grow they haven't done a whole lot of anything uh so we'll see if anything else happens i have pole beans that are just starting to kind of climb the pole some little eggplant that are developing and then uh four different types of bush beans here um, and I don't have them I think it's a royal burgundy I don't have the names right in front of me but they're starting to develop pretty nicely um, down here is where originally I was only going to put cucumbers <laughs> um, but I had two extra zucchini plants come up so I moved them down here um, both of these are producing fruit um, now this one right here does have a couple little guys at the bottom, these two little ones that I need to pull off because they were not pollinated, so they're just going to fall off anyways. Um, I've tried two different types of cucumbers down here, so this first one right here and right here are both supposed to be a bush variety. I've never grown bush variety before, they have some nice fruit on them, um, but I will say they're vining out <laughs> just like a regular cucumber. I was trying to find a space saver. Uh, these don't seem to be it just yet. Um, I did just put these panels in and I'm going to, I've got another panel that I'm going to hoop over the top, um, but these will just grow right up that. Cucumbers are amazing because they have these lovely little tendrils that will connect to just about anything. Um, throughout this area, I have a lot of dill coming up. And then on the end, another kind of disappointment, but it was also a trial. I have all of these little, we're supposed to be uh, loofah squash or loofah gourds. So they have a really long grow season, unfortunately, in upstate New York. Um, again, the zone four, we have a short growing season. We really have, um, maybe if we're lucky, May, but June, July, August, maybe into September, um, where temperatures are viable for these heat-loving plants. So we'll see what our grow season looks like this year. On this side, I put regular vining cu cucumbers, so we'll see how they grow differently from my supposed bush cucumbers over there. Um, both have fruit, so I should be able to make pickles soon. My initial idea on this side, I actually have a row of sunflowers coming up here, was for the cucumbers to grow up the sunflowers, um, but my sunflowers are not growing fast enough, so again, I've introduced this panel, and I have another one that will fit right over top, so just a little bit of a tunnel so that they can grow over. It looks like I will have a cucumber officially ready to pick here very very soon um, but that's it for this middle bed things are coming along really really nicely and at this point it's again just kind of waiting we're in the 85 range every single day so everything's coming along really nicely i uh, can't wait to give you an update have a good one